So start by stimulated our growth, a rapid growth through financing and mentorship. And um, I think we, we made the most out of it. We finished July on with 64 orders as as our target was set and um, almost $12,000 in revenue, which was tremendous. Um, we're now in August trying to, trying to beat what we accomplished in July for August. Um, the one challenge that we had is, um, well, we're not only running the business, we're also kind of in school, Startfest is kind of like a startup school for us. Um, so what we do is during the day we're here at Startfest attending all the all the great meetings, all the classes and growth hacking strategies. And then five o'clock we go back to the hotel room and we do what we usually do to keep the business running. Um, so it's basically a you know two-headed gig that we're running right now. And we grew by 100 percent compared to June to July. This week at Cloud Guide, we're excited about the new launch of our mobile application. It's a new release we've been working on for the past weeks and it's mainly clearing a long list of bug fixes. But there's also some new things such as improved beacon support for Android 6. We're putting a button in there that allows users to report data errors and we also have uh, better compatibility for the American market. So this is to be in time for Demo Day and then we're also validating a new business model which we'll be very excited to present on Demo Day because it potentially allows us a lot more revenue. And we have our confirmed client to do this. We're going to do this with the Cathedral in Antwerp which has a large number of visitors and we'll be charging for the first time ever on a per visitor basis. So we're very excited to, to share the results about this with you on Demo Day. Also, the marketing campaigns have come to result and we have doubled the, the number of daily users in our app. And uh, we are having like some meetings in New York this week. Come see us on Demo Day. Hi. So now that we're in the final two weeks leading up to Demo Day, our focus has been on really getting as prepared as we can be for that final final moment. Um, I'm working on my pitch script right now and putting together some slides to go along with it. Um, we also want the website to be as updated and have a consistent messaging with what I'm going to be delivering in my pitch. Um, so I'm working on that as we speak. Um, and then Max also has a bunch of tasks that he's getting through. <laughs> yeah, so I've been working on our investor deck and also doing projections and company financials for the investors. Um, and also we've uh, been trying to release the latest version of the app onto the App Store and also doing some customer support with our two customers. So that's a lot of work, but we are 100% confident that we can make it, make it all work well by the time August 16th rolls around. This week on Park Me, I'm starting off. So, after a long run, we're finally happy to announce that the Android app will be released to the Play Store by the end of this week. In other news, the web dashboard has been contracted out and is currently in progress, so we're happy to say that that's, things are going well with our product and our platform is being polished up and ready to go soon enough. We've been pulled in many directions because we're actually prepping for a demo day, which we're very excited about. Um, if you haven't gotten your tickets, you should get them soon. Um, and we've invited Aaron Foss as our mentor to introduce ourselves for this demo day. We've been working with Aaron even before Startfast, so he's really seen Parkme grow from just from ideation to product, and we're very proud and happy he's he will be there to introduce us. And with all the directions that we have been pulled in, another one is yet the pitch that I'm going to be presenting on Demo Day. Look forward to me being there and presenting the idea of ParkMe along with all the financials and performance for the investors. And we're going to be happy to announce some of the partnerships that we've been working on diligently for the last couple of weeks. Hi, this week at Luxroot, we're making great progress. We figured out a way to identify the 20 wealthiest zip codes in the United States. And then we further figure out a way to get the email addresses of those 20 wealthiest zip codes. And we are going to be doing an email campaign with that. Then on Facebook, we're going to be doing a campaign based on those zip codes. So Doug right now is designing some ads for that. And um, I have been working on the investor pitch and I've written and rewritten and rewritten my demo day pitch. And I've been practicing that uh, working on the pro forma and Zoe can tell you the rest. Yeah, so it's been a constant race to do this customer acquisition and pre prepare everything for demo day. But we are lucky now we really are getting a lot of attention from vendors across the world including Italy, England, Russia and so on. And now it's our responsibility to really represent them on our website so that as we do customer acquisition and we and we really reach out to our customer base that they can now see the growth of options that we have available.